Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Open Road for Two. This is Mylene. And Randy. And we are embarking on a trip this morning. Um, we're heading out for Camping with a Cause. Um, it's a wonderful um, event that Cemento Taco, we're gonna actually interview him later. His name's Luis um, in the video who organized this off-road for charity. And we'll tell you all about it, but we're super excited. Um, it's a great thing about the community, getting together, supporting each other, helping out causes, and having some fun while you do it. Yeah, so. we're just here waiting for everybody else. We're at the meetup spot, just waiting for the other rigs to show up. And Luis just pulled up, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. This charity camping event was open to all rigs and adventurers. The lineup had several Tacomas, a more than capable FJ, a Forerunner out on its first trail ride, a six Subaru, and an awesome Lexus GX. So the caravan, we are all heading up the mountain. We got about 12 rigs and we got two people meeting us up at the camp spot. So this is gonna be a great turnout. Everybody's super friendly. We even have some families who brought their kids along and starting them out early for overlanding and adventuring. Couldn't be better. It's a great start. It's a great start. A lot, lot of amazing people out here. You know, people we were meeting for the first time. I mean, uh, of course we knew Luis, but everyone else we're meeting for the first time and they're just amazing people. And super cool to meet actual people that follow us and meeting them in person. That is what is so fun about getting together coming to meetups, coming to trips like this, is meeting those people in person and the connections you make. So we're really looking forward to this trip. It's gonna be fun. Prior to hitting the trail, we stopped to allow time for those that wanted to air down. The route to camp was relatively easy. We were treated to some beautiful views of Holcomb Valley. Just a quick safety tip and equipment suggestion is um, when traveling in large groups such as this, it is nice to be able to communicate via radio. Um, it helps to alert others in the group of impending obstacles, road conditions, or stops, um, or points of interest along the way. Once we found where we were going to set up camp for the night, everybody spread out and they set up shop. And the first thing on everybody's mind was food. The trail does make you hungry. After we were done, we decided to um, go and explore the area around camp, see what we can find, and um, just kind of make a day of it before we lost any more light. So we're up here uh, walking amongst these rocks and boulder croppings that are right above our, our camp. We got a cool, pretty cool little spot up here. Little area to go explore. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out. See where it leads us and Maybe get a cool view of camp from up top. From so. up top, we'll see what we find. Yeah, let's do it. said for camping with the cause and we're here with Luis and Kite and they do off-road for charity. 
like this charity off road for charity not so long ago about maybe three months ago yeah um our first event was obviously the food drive mm -hmm. um that went towards um, SPCA LA in Long Beach, which is an animal shelter, and then the Salvation Army as well. Our second event, which is this one now, we partnered up with Raise and Paws. Um, all the funds gathered from the tickets that everyone here, including yourself, uh, purchased that are going to go towards um, children with special needs. Um, for our next event coming up in September 10th, that one is going to be Save Lives, um, Save Trails. So it's gonna be a blood drive slash truck meet. So it's an opportunity for all for the community to come onto campus and just kind of show off your uh, your rigs to the students and faculty. Meanwhile, you're saving lives and donating blood. We're um, holding your raffle. So, so the funds from that are going to, I believe, is it Corva? Maybe? Corva, okay, we'll be going cool. to Corva. Very cool. So that's gonna be saving our trails there. So whatever we collect from the raffle tickets is going specifically to Corbin. Yeah. Awesome. So we're both uh, students at Santa Ana College. We're both pursuing a career in the fire service, um, which is why we did also decided to kind of do the community service, giving back to the community, just because the fire service is also all about um, selfless acts and giving back. So might as well start now and continue for the career so it'll help us advance in the career plus we're passionate about it so i mean there's yeah. a reason we're going into that career in the first yeah. place very cool so. <laughs> awesome all right and then we got there's nothing better than watching a movie in the open air under the stars the movie that was featured for this event um, was Goonies and it did not disappoint. Although there was a chill in the air, it was remedied with some warm popcorn and snacks and good company. So the fun part, fun part, when you get back from a trip, from boating, going through your not gear. Fun. Not fun at all. Dusting off the, gr the grit and the grime. You gotta get the truck washed. We went through some mud puddles as you, you see in the video. And charging batteries and getting ready for the next adventure. Yeah, it's not fun, <laughs> but it's definitely necessary to do. We like to be able to have our stuff ready to go, uh, recharge everything ready to go in its place, easy to grab for our next trip. but. It does take work at the end of the trip, and you know. But that being said, I mean, what a what a fun, quick trip! We that had a great was. time, yeah. a super great time. Met some great new people, and it was all for a wonderful cause. And that's what the off road adventure overlanding community is about. As we've said before, is that sense of community. So, definitely a great time. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you're not yet subscribed. Um, it's free. Hit that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Yep. Um, other ways you can help out the channel um, is check out our um, website, openroadfor2.com. Um, we'll show it down below. We've got some cool merch, um, some shirts, our More patch. stuff on the way, so keep checking back. Also, look, check those affiliate links down below, the Amazon yeah, affiliate links. That helps those, us out, too, and it's no additional us, cost no to additional you. No additional cost, and it helps us out. So. We're so glad you came along for the trip. And like we always say, until the next time, we'll see you on the open road. Bye. Bye.